Jill Belland, hanging out with the people from Beyond Nourished. And Jill, uh, for people with digestive issues or allergies, this is for them. This is for them and great workshops going on tonight, tomorrow, and Thursday uh, at Hillhurst Sunnyside with Beyond Nourish doing recipes and making healthy things delicious as well. So we did the first step of our kale salad. We rolled it, we cut it, we massaged, massaged it with it. olive oil and salt. And what's up next here, Celine? So we're going to make the Parmesan crumble, but without any Parmesan. Okay. So we're going to use pecans. Mm -hmm. So we'll just put the pecans inside the food processor. And that'll be a cup of that. And then you're going to want a few tablespoons of the nutritional yeast. All right. And the nutritional yeast is what gives it that nutty, cheesy flavor that people love. So you're just going to spread that around. Totally dairy-free. Yep. OK, and where can one find nutritional yeast? I personally buy it at Community Health. Yep. They always have the um, nutritional yeast, and it's good quality. And then I'll just, some of this? Yep. A so you drizzle? can just eyeball it. Yeah. OK. So that's perfect. Terrific. And blend that up, and it comes out looking like this. Yeah. So then you're going to have the Parmesan crumble, so then you can just put it on top. You might want to season that too, right? Salt and pepper? Yeah. We forgot that in the food processor. So you're going to add the Himalayan sea salt. And so you want the sea salt or the Himalayan salt to give it that saltiness that cheese has and that people love. OK, fantastic. And up next, we've got to make our dressing. Dressing. So I'm going to get you to put one third of a cup right. of olive oil into the jar. Fantastic. And so I love using these jars just because you can reuse them and then you can shake it up afterwards. And Fantastic. then two tablespoons of this, apple cider vinegar. Easy breezy. And now you were saying, when, I know kale is a really hot vegetable these days and when you're shopping for kale you want to make sure that it's organic and why is that? Well, especially because it is so popular, you're seeing it in the high-end restaurants, you're seeing it in the grocery store, you want to make sure it's organic because it's becoming genetically modified mm. and sprayed with so many chemicals, and you just don't want to be eating that, Right. especially since you usually have the kale raw, and so you just, you don't want to be eating the chemicals. So a few tablespoons of that, and so what's great about the salad dressing is the more comfortable you get with it, mm -hmm. and any dressing, in fact, you can just eyeball it, so you can just toss it all together. So you might want to put some sea salt, or some Himalayan salt and pepper in it. Absolutely. Salt is my flav. Just like that, it's the best. Perfect. <laughs> First day with the new pepper shaker. Okay, we're going to shake up this dressing. We're going to dress the kale salad, and then we're going to dig in, sample it. And what are we making in our next segment? We are going to make the best gingerbread cookies ever, and they're healthy. Really? And raw and dairy-free, dairy all those things. Gluten-free. How about that? So I'm going to get you to put some on top. <laughs> kale for breakfast, Tara. Uh-huh. This looks good. You know what? I am on the kale train 100%.